When design plans provide only slope data, this tech tip shows you how to create data lines, center lines, or pipe elevations. Next tip, uh, Matt, we're going to be entering lines by slope. Something that we get asked all the time, especially if you're doing a, a center line with very little information, they're just giving you 8% or 7%. Or maybe you're doing a ramp, okay, on a warehouse, and they're just giving you slopes, one elevation at the entrance and then, and then a slope. But also for pipe, if the only thing you're seeing or a ditch or something, if you're only, the only thing they're giving you is slopes, so let me show you how to put in slopes in, in grade work, okay? So we'll be doing this for materials, okay? Because I'm doing a pipe, so might as well use this, the, and I'm gonna tell the program, I'm gonna be working on the storm surface or on the storm layer. If I go ahead and click on my structure list, I can pick my 18 inch RCP class three, go to the entry mode. So let's go ahead and begin. So in this side, the invert is gonna be 11.87. And then I go in and go to the next point. And before I click the next point, I want to type in the slope. So first the slope, then you click. So minus 0.52% because it's going down. If it's positive, just type in 0.52%. And then I'm going to go ahead and click. Right click to finish. Go back to the edit mode. Let's see, did it calculate it right? 1131, there it is here at the bottom, 1131, okay? So again, this slope, entering these lines like this will work for a data line, uh, in pipes, for a center line, anything that you're doing by slope.